A recent article by the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons suggests that Barack Obama is deliberately using techniques of neurolinguistic programming, or NLP, a covert form of hypnosis developed by Dr. Milton Erickson. For example, one fundamental tool of conversational hypnosis, as it is called, is pacing and leading, a way for the hypnotist to bypass the listener's critical faculty by associating repeated statements that are unquestionably accurate with messages that he wants to convey. In his Denver acceptance speech, Obama repeatedly used the phrases, that's why I stand here tonight, or now is the time, and this moment, repeated 14 times. Paces are connected to the lead words such as and, as, because, or that is why. For example, we need change, a statement which is so abstract that one cannot disagree with it, and that is why I will be your next president. Some other very obvious techniques of transinduction used by Barack Obama include extra slow speech, repeated abstract metaphors, vagueness, chains of imagery, and the raising of emotional tension. Frequently, hypnotists will have their subjects count backwards as part of hypnosis induction. Obama uses the same technique in his speeches. He often uses repeating patterns of numbers which are abstract and seem to have little connection to the content of the speech. This is a distraction technique of hypnosis, assigning a meaningless task to the rational mind to distract it, thus leaving the subject unguarded by the rational mind and open to the hypnotist's suggestion. Obama said in one speech, quote, A light will shine down from somewhere. It will shine upon you. You will experience an epiphany, and you will say to yourself, quote, I have to vote for Barack, end quote. Note that he is not presenting people with a choice. You will have to vote for Barack. It is not a logical choice, but rather one directed by some mystical subconscious force. Why would a politician make such a statement? Obama's techniques seem to be especially effective on young people and highly educated people, both considered to be especially susceptible to techniques of hypnosis. It is noteworthy, for example, that many Jews are supporting a candidate who is openly endorsed by Hamas, Louis Farrakhan, Khalidi, and the nation of Iran, all of them stated enemies of the nation of Israel. American democracy is supposed to be of the people, by the people, and for the people, as stated by Abraham Lincoln. As such, democracy depends utterly on rational thought by the people. If this rational thought is pushed out of the way, democracy will slip into anarchy, and anarchy sets the stage for tyranny. The dictator Adolf Hitler is said to have hypnotized the nation of Germany, one of the most technologically advanced, sophisticated, and culturally rich nations the world has ever known. And yet, it became the subject of one man as a dictator who utterly destroyed that country. Hitler's hold on power was fortified by his skill as a speechmaker. At carefully staged Nazi rallies, with swastikas everywhere, he inflamed the emotions of his followers. We know that Barack Obama was guided, mentored, and funded by people whose overt objective was the overthrow and destruction of the United States of America. It is a grave mistake, a fatal mistake, to repeat history this way, and to allow one man to encourage any of us to set aside our rational thought in the determination of the course of our own nation. The Germany of the 20s and 30s was in social and economic despair and looked for a leader who would free them from the Great Depression. The man with a promise of hope was Adolf Hitler, who claimed he was ordained of God to usher in 1,000 years of peace and prosperity. His hypnotic powers manipulated an entire nation 
to surrender its collective mind. The use of such techniques in politics is unethical to begin with, and further, their use to circumvent issues of suitability to the office of president, such as experience, having a true comprehension of the issues suitable to the American people and qualifications to hold the office, is criminal.